Hi, I'm Everett Erickson. I'm a design engineer at Fox Racing Shocks in the motocross division. We're coming to you from Zaka Station for the Fox Media Ride Day. The main product we're showcasing today for Moto is the Podium RC3 rear shock. It's a, a new shock. The thing that makes it so revolutionary is that we have external bottom out control. It's the green adjuster next to the high and low speed compression adjust. And you can adjust it independently of the compression and it affects only the last portion of travel. So if you're in a situation where you're bottoming off of a flat jump landing, for instance, you can click in the bottom out adjuster and not affect the way the shock works everywhere else. Here's a cutaway of the RC3. Up at the top is the bottom out adjust circuit. Uh, basically what you see is this would be the regular compression and rebound valving like any other shock. And then on top is an extension with the small piston. Deep into travel, this piston goes into a cup in the body cap. That traps oil and creates extra damping. The, the flow of that oil is regulated through this passage by this needle. So when it's closed off, it's maximum bottom out control. When the needle's open, it's minimum bottom out control. Uh, we also use exotic coatings uh, for ultra high durability and low stiction. We have an uh, internal floating piston instead of a bladder. What that gives is maximized uh, nitrogen volume. We have about twice the nitrogen volume of a stock shock in here. What that leads to is when the shock heats up, it, it fades less, so you get a more consistent performance. Uh, another feature of the RC3 that we're proud of is what we're calling the fast spring adjuster. Um, you know, we all ride at Fox, and one thing that I really hate doing is changing the preload on my shock with the, with the jam nut on the preload ring, and you're, you have a screwdriver and a hammer to knock it loose. So we came up with a preload adjust system where the spring is pinned to the preload ring, and then this blue clamp holds everything in place. And to change your preload, you loosen a four millimeter Allen screw, and you can rotate the whole spring to change the preload. It, this blue piece also rides on the reservoir, so it keeps the Allen uh, oriented where you can get to it. So you could do a half uh, turn of preload adjustment if you want, lock it down, and you're good to go. Um, much easier to do, and only one tool needed. If you're going to buy a shock, you really need to do the fork also. And uh, for that, we encourage the customer to send in the fork to us. And we have three levels of uh, product right now. We're calling it ProTune. The first level is a standard revalve, which we will collect a bunch of information from you about your, your weight and your riding style and the type of riding you're doing. Um, the second level is that same revalve coupled with some hard parts from Fox, one of those being the top cap with the tool-free compression adjust and a dual bleed port, which makes it easy to add oil to the fork. Uh, and then this, the third level is something that we're working on. It's a little early to comment about it in detail, but it's gonna be some level of new technology in a complete cartridge. Hey, what's up everyone? Brendan Lutz here with Transworld Motocross. Uh, we got invited out here from Fox Racing Shocks to try out their brand new podium shock. Um, I tried it out on my KX450 today and uh, came away pretty impressed after messing around with the clickers. Just like Everett said at the beginning of this video, um, the shock has quite a few innovative things to it. Uh, bottom out resistance, a clicker adjuster on it so you can actually have your shock resist bottom out a little more than normal. Out on the track, I, uh, I went out there and had everything in the middle. Um, it felt initially a little harsh on some of the smaller bumps, so I backed out the uh, bottom out clicker all the way. It helped with that, but it obviously didn't help with bottoming resistance. Uh, so, fooled around with the clickers a little more, uh, added some more bottoming resistance, and added a little more compression, and I got the thing pretty dialed into where I like it. Um, I'm gonna try racing on it and see how it goes, but just like any of these reviews on here on the site, this one's just an initial little, little taste. So, if you wanna find out more and uh, see everything that we thought after fully testing this shock for a month or two, um, check out the next issue of Transworld Motocross.
All right. <coughs> just no, I just keep it rolling. <laughs> hey everyone, what's up? Brendan Lutz here again with Motor. Why was I gonna say motocross.com? Why was I gonna say motocross.com? Well, you can't see my face if it's forward. Jimmy Lewis says that the hat backwards is cool, so. <laughs> Okay, so bottom out, resistance. Fudge. So many people walking around here. You're good. Okay. <laughs> don't worry about them. No, I don't want to like talk when there's like some loud side-by-side -side going by. Seeing shocks or something like that. Let me just say that whole part over again. All right. 